Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B and thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to finally be reviewing the ColourPop and Zoella brunch date collection. I've had this collection since it launched and I just haven't had time doing like a lot of other videos to review it for you. So before we get into the video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. We have a lot of fun on this channel. You don't want to miss out on anything. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I have my phone here with the prices. Um, I'm not gonna do a look on camera today. If you guys like this look, go ahead and comment below and I will get it up for you. I did do this entire look with almost everything in here. I did have to add a few things, which I will discuss throughout the video. So I bought the PR bundle, which was $89. It's actually the PR collection kit. For $89, it comes with everything in the collection, plus the bag plus some stickers. Um, I know that there's a lot of like negative things about um, Zoella. I don't honestly have any idea who that is. Um, I do now know that she's a YouTuber, but I didn't before. Um, I basically bought it because someone had asked me if I was gonna buy it to review it, and I'm so sorry that it took so long to review. I've just had so many videos that I have to get up, and I still have so many to get up for you guys. It's just, um, I may have to go to five days a week because I feel like I have so much stuff to get out there for you guys that it just three days is not cutting it so you might have to see me a little bit more throughout the week we'll see keep stay tuned so so basically there's a lot of negative stuff like scandals and whatnot with this youtuber i did not buy it to support this youtuber so if you don't like her don't like leave me hate comments i can't believe you support her i really don't i do really support ColourPop. i'm a big fan of theirs um this is not a sponsored video i did pay for this but i am a really big fan of ColourPop because they produce really really good makeup at a really really decent price for all of you guys for me and every other beauty lover in the community all right so now that we got all that out of the way, let's get into the actual product. So I will be swatching them for you, but again, I put it on my face already. Obviously, I'm completely beat. I do look good today though. <laughs> I'm a little vain, but all right. So let's get into the first things, um, the easier things. It comes with two gel liners in Sincerely Yours and XOXO. And it's cute. It's just this like yellow and red hearts but the hearts are like strawberry design. So each cream gel eyeliner retails for $5, which is really not bad. That's basically drugstore um, cost, so I don't mind it. And I didn't mind the gel liner, but I'll get into what I liked and what I didn't like. So here's the packaging. They're just orange and just your basic liner. They do roll up. You get a fairly decent amount for five dollars um it comes with a black one and then a brown one however the black one is the one that i use to do my liner here and then here when i smudged it out the only problem i had was when i first used it it kind of broke off like a chunk of it broke off a decent chunk of it um so i do recommend that if you get them you kind of work it on your hand a little bit first because when they're stiff it just kind of like broke so here is the brown one and i'll go ahead and i'll swatch them for you guys just so you can see them and, I'll, and it just broke off. That's what I'm saying. You have to be very gentle with these. Um, I just really, I don't know. I'm not really into stick liners. I like to use creams or liquids just because of this reason. But once you, it just broke off again. Okay, so change of plans. Don't get the eyeliners. Here's the colors. All right, so moving right along, we're gonna move into the, can I just say, I love the packaging of this like whole bundle. I really usually love ColourPop stuff, but I think that this is so cute. They come in like little orange juice and milk cartons, which I think, come on, it's freaking cute. So this says group hug and it says Zoella X ColourPop. And this is the super, 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 and this is the super Nova shadow bundle. So this is Bellini, Bellini, I guess that's something important to her. I'm not really sure, Bellini, Bellini, I don't know, an OG. So they are liquid shadows, which I really, really don't use a lot, but when I do use them, they are really, really nice. I used Bellini 
in my inner corner, if you can see that. So let me zoom in just a little bit. So I used it right here on the inner corner. Um, just to give it like a pop of color. You could put it on the lid. You can really do anything with it, but I just, I really wanted to go with a smoky eye, so I kind of just popped it right in the center to kind of just mellow out the darkness. So let's zoom you back out. Okay. I'll go ahead and I will swatch these for you. They were easy to blend. Um, they applied well, like when I tried to blend it into the shadow. Um, they did not dry very quick, and I have not thus far had any issues with them flaking. The only concern I have is that they are very similar in color. So if you get this, it's like basically you got two. So this one is OG and then this one is Bellini. So you see right there, that's what I'm talking about. Like they're so similar in color that one is just literally like a hint darker. Oh, so you actually, on their site, it is showing that you can actually get them, the Bellini and the OG separate. So the Bellini, I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right. If I'm not, tell me below, um, is actually the one that I would go with. They're $7 a piece, and I'm, that's the one that I use. The other one is just a little more sheer, the OG, and I'm not really a fan, but they're so similar in color that it's like, you don't need both so the kit itself is 14 so you're not really saving any money if you get them both so i would recommend going with bellini and not with both so you save seven dollars okay and then the next thing we'll go in are the two face products you get so they come with soulmate press powder this is a blush and then swipe right which is a highlighter so the highlighter is eight and so is the blush all right, so it comes with this cute little yellow heart and this super freaking cute packaging. It is so nice and I really love it. And the lighting isn't gonna let you check it out, but I'll bring it a little bit closer so it's a little bit darker. So the ring light is trying to take up all of the life. So it's really cute and I really like it. It does come with a mirror the size of the little pan. This is the highlighter. However, it's just really, is very underwhelming um, to me like this is just it really it gave me almost like an iridescent color like if you look it's very light <laughs> look at that like that's a couple I'm like digging in here just so you can see this like digging in there putting it on my hand and it's still like nothing so it gave me almost like a pink sheen on my cheeks but it doesn't really it doesn't do much so with this being a collection the way that it is it should be more universal so the same with the highlighter the blush was worse so the highlighter is really only going to work on certain skin tones um, it won't work on everyone's skin tone and it's really it's not that good of a highlighter but this is the soulmate blush it's in the same packaging as the highlighter and this is the color so when I put this on my face, you could not see it. Now I'm really gonna like cake it on here so you can see what I mean. So this blush is only gonna work for like fair skin. That's it, That that is it. Like that kind of irritated me because the problem is I am more like light tan, medium-ish, and I bought your whole bundle and I can't even use this. So. I feel like if you're going to make a universal kit, that it needs to be a blush that can be used for more than just one skin tone. Like obviously you're not gonna be able to do all of the skin tones in one little bundle, but you could probably have made it a little bit darker for more than just fair skin. So that was the worst part. We're gonna go into the eyeshadow palette next, which is 12 shadows. This is the packaging. So this is $18 for just the shadow. Um, I love the artwork and the detail mm -hmm. that went in to this packaging. I also like, I'm pretty sure that this might be their first um, rectangle palette and not square or hugely square or smaller square. Like I'm, If I'm mistaken, comment below and let me know but I'm pretty sure this might be the first of their kind, or it's at least the first one I've gotten. So you open it up and it does have a mirror right here and I'm gonna go ahead and bend it. Usually bending ColourPop ones are not that good because they don't really go back. 
So again, like I said, you do get 12 shadows and two of them are in the heart shape. They have that whole egg design. I'll go ahead and put it a little bit closer. So this shadow was kind of like underwhelming for me. When I opened it, I was like, oh, cool. Lots of browns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven browns, like different shades, but still brown. Um, the only color that I will really tell you like really popped to me is this blue one because it's literally the only color with any life in it. All right, so I zoomed in so you can see the palette just a little bit better than before. So we're gonna go from left to right, top row to the bottom. So champagne toast, pancakes please, french toast, skinny latte, cinnamon sugar, and then mimosa. Then you'll have maple syrup, Sunday fun day, sunny side up, Americano, brunch club, and extra slice. So I'll give you like a good little clip of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you back out. All right, so I'm gonna swatch the top row first and then I will swatch the bottom. So these are the swatches of the top row and we'll go ahead in with champagne toast, pancakes please, French toast, skinny latte, cinnamon sugar, and mimosa. So they're all very similar in that they're warm tone, like brown in that same, they're almost like it, just in that same color family. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swatch the second row for you now. All right, and here is the second row and we're gonna go in with maple syrup, Sunday fun day, sunny side up, Americano, Brunch Club, and then Extra Slice. So this one, um, Brunch Club, actually swatched like kind of patchy, but it really wasn't that bad on my eye. I actually was very surprised at like how pigmented and not patchy it was for being a blue shadow. I expected it to kind of not be as good, but it turned out like really, really good and I really, really liked it. So for me, this palette, I feel like if you have a bunch of other palettes or even a handful of other palettes, it's really not gonna be something that you have to spend $18 on. I know this color's pretty, but there's so many palettes right now that have pops of blue that I think you would be good. Americano was kind of patchy, um, but the rest of them, they're just, they're okay. They're not bad. Um, they're just not, I don't really think you really need to buy it, honestly. Um, if you have it and you love it, that's really great. But I just think that like, there are certain things where it's like, it's just so underwhelming. All right, so the last things we're gonna go into will be the uh, milk carton shaped lip bundles. So you have them, they're all ultra matte, and they all come with a liner. All right, so each bundle is $11.50, and if you just want the lip, um, the lipsticks and not the lip liner, they are $6.50 as their usual pricing. So I don't see the lip liners on there sold separately, but usually they're about $5. But I don't see, I only see the bundles or the lipsticks by themselves. So $6.50 for the lip or $11.50 for a lip and a um, lip liner, which I think is pretty good. So I will go ahead and swatch these on my lips for you so you are able to see what they look like. So right now I have on little one, which I'm going to go ahead and take off and just swatch it for you so you can see all of them. And then we'll move on to the other bundle. So let me zoom you on in just one more time. Ooh, that's a zoom. Okay. So... I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Have you ever just had like a makeup day where you're just like, yes, take tons of photos of me because I'm looking good. And then there's those days where it's like, please God, don't let anyone see me in public because I look like hell. So we are going to take a makeup wipe and just remove this. All right, so we're gonna go into little one first. All right, so you get the lip liner and the lipstick. All right, so this is in the shade little one. So it is a fairly nude with a pink undertone, which I think is really pretty, especially with like as crazy as this eye look was. That's kind of why I went with this color because it's just like, yes, perfect match. Let's move on. And we're gonna go in with the shade At Me. Oh shit. So this one, okay, they're both called Little One, the lip and the pencil. This one is At Me and Oh Snap. So we have Atme as the 
as the liquid lip and oh snap as the lip liner so these two are extremely similar in shade uh this one's just a tad pinker so i don't really think that it would be necessary to get both of them but they are very close it's kind of irritating which is actually kind of like a very similar vibe going on with this whole collection is a lot of things are very similar to another and so we are going in with this lip bundle which is you have self-love club for the lip and balsa for the lipstick all right so this is in the shade self-love club and the lip is balsy and i'm not gonna lie i kind of wish i would have went with the red lip and the blue because it's good and we're back out zoomed okay with the lipsticks if you're gonna get one of the nudes i would go with one or the other there is no need to get both because they are so very similar in color and definitely go for this one it is a very beautiful like candy apple red and i think it like really made this whole look pop and i wish i would have put that color on first and not the nude because i'm just like <sighs> This is matching my sassy attitude today. You know what I mean? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So all in all, um, if I knew then what I knew now, I would not have bought the highlighter. I wouldn't have bought the bundle. What I, let's go with what I would have bought. I would have definitely bought the give us the goss. I think that's what it means um, red and then one of the nude lip bundles I do like the bundles because I'm big on lip liners I have a ton of them I'll show you so I do have a ton of lip liners I have a whole lot more but they all don't fit in these so this is what you got for right now but I have a ton of them uh, it's a lot actually a lot so I'm a real big fan obviously of lip liner I think it just makes your lips look so smooth so if you're gonna get them get them together not separate and moving right along I like the Bellany supernova shadow that was really pretty and really fun to work with easy to work with definitely worth it the other one not so much the gel liners for freaking get it do not buy them they were trash and the palette i think for me would have been a miss um just because i do have so much makeup but again if you really don't have a lot then it might be something you're into getting however i think you should spend your money on something way more like fantastic and fun and less you know the same as every other neutral brown palette we've seen. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this review. I am so sorry it took so long to get this review up. So if you were the person who asked me if I was gonna get it, yes, I got it, here it is. Hopefully you liked it. Is there something that you liked that I swatched that maybe I didn't like? What was your favorite part of this collection? And do you own it? I mean, it's been out so long that most of you probably own something of it. If you do not, then tell me why you wouldn't get something that I've listed. Put the T in the comments. I want to read them. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye.